NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 and RTX 4080. Is it worth it? The RTX 4090 and RTX 4080 graphics cards offer different levels of performance when it comes to powering your gaming experience. The RTX 4090, which costs $1,600, offers roughly 30% better performance at 4K resolution compared to the $1,200 RTX 4080, making it a great choice for those who want superior graphical capabilities without breaking the bank. Both GPUs feature real-time ray tracing, AI-enhanced graphics, and support next-gen games so you won't miss out on new titles released in the future. But what are the specific pros and cons of each card's performance? That's still a mystery, but one thing is clear. Both NVIDIA GeForce offerings will give you an amazing gaming experience no matter which one you choose. We should all be asking ourselves how well each GPU benchmark when running these applications before buying our gaming hardware setup for 2021, especially if we want to take advantage of cutting-edge gaming features like ray tracing technology. Let's compare two graphics cards. The RTX 4090 offers a huge performance boost at 4K resolution, almost 30% faster than its predecessor, the RTX 4080. It does cost more at $1,600, but it comes with some of the most advanced NVIDIA features like real-time ray tracing and AI-enhanced graphics for an amazing gaming experience. Plus, it supports next-generation games so you won't miss out when new titles come out later this year. The RTX 4080 is much cheaper at $1,200, over 33% less, but it still offers great performance and decreased power consumption levels, allowing your PC to run quieter and cooler. So what should you buy? Well, that depends on your budget and bandwidth needs. If money isn't an issue, you can go for the RTX 4090, but if you're looking for value, the RTX 4080 is still a great option with notable energy savings. Whichever NVIDIA GeForce hardware setup you choose, you can be sure that you're future-proofed, with differentiating levels between these GPUs. That way, you can get the maximum graphical fidelity possible for your individual situation without breaking the bank. When it comes to choosing between the RTX 4090 and the RTX 4080 graphics cards for your gaming setup, performance isn't the only thing to consider. The RTX 4090 has more power and can handle 4K games better, but is also much more expensive, $1,600 compared to the $1,200 of the original. Plus, at the moment, NVIDIA's 80-class GPUs like those two models are more expensive than usual. You can save money by choosing a different graphics card from another manufacturer. No matter which card you pick, both offer great graphics and are compatible with next-gen games that don't have real-time ray tracing or AI-enhanced visuals. If you have the money or don't mind spending a little bit of extra, the RTX 4090 is the way to go. But if you want to save some money, you can find alternatives to offer similar specs at a lower price. So what is the best value to price ratio right now? What steps can you take to maximize GPU performance and ensure stability when overclocking? The RTX 4090 and RTX 4080 both have great cooling systems that keep your GPU running at its best. For example, they both have a 3-fan design with up to 90mm fan blades for better air intake. This is especially helpful when you're gaming in 4K or higher resolution as it stops your card from overheating due to poor thermal management. They also both have optimized vapor chamber technology, helping heat move away quickly so you can enjoy better frame rates during long gaming sessions without worrying about any lag caused by high temperatures or bad audio quality. They also have customizable options like 0RPM mode with pulse width modulation, adjustable fan speed profiles, and full control over graphic settings including overclocking. This gives gamers more power choices depending on what decisions are needed for better efficiency or stability when doing tasks like rendering large files or machine learning processes. It's clear that these two GPUs offer great value, but how do you decide which one is best for you? Are you looking to get the most out of your gaming setup? Well, the RTX 4090 and 4080 GPUs offer great value when it comes to controlling thermal management and keeping your PC cool while gaming. Not only do they use powerful fans, large radiators, adjustable fan speed profiles, pulse width modulation technology, and zero RPM modes for maximum airflow into the GPU, they also provide premium materials that help dissipate heat better than other cards in this price range. But before you buy any hardware, it's important to make sure that your system requirements are compatible with either card's ports over another's like HDMI 2.1. You'll also want to make sure your games will run smoothly at 4K resolutions without stuttering even if frame rate dips occur during long sessions. Finally, you'll want to consider which game consoles can accommodate high-end GeForce offerings like NVIDIA's 2020 collection without sacrificing performance due to compatibility issues. That way, you can get the most out of each product with its given budget limitations. Now that you know the system requirements and compatibility, let's talk about overclocking tips. When it comes to getting more out of your GPU performance-wise, a little bit of tweaking can make all the difference in maximizing FPS output when gaming at a 4K resolution or higher with each one of these cards. First off, try to reach appropriate temperatures. Both GPUs need an appropriate balance between power limits so they don't get too hot when running advanced tasks like ray tracing. One way to achieve this is using custom fan curves for better thermal control, adjusting them based on how much cooling capacity your chassis has available as well as which games you're playing over time for individual needs. Additionally, making sure that liquid solutions like coolant systems or aftermarket heat sinks have been properly fitted beforehand improves performance even further, without sacrificing comfort levels during extended gameplay sessions. 
finally, keep tabs on core clock speeds versus base clock values and monitor the stability afterward. In other words, check if these frequencies remain stable while providing BV titles instead of resulting in unintentional fluctuations due course, which would be wise before applying any modification changes whatsoever, no matter which card setup you choose down the line. Regardless of whether it's an RTX 4090 or 4080, each of them are going to have specific benchmarking numbers in mind made priorly intending the aim of short, mid, and long-term goals, simply given the market trend limited to truly speaking in the near future. What steps can you take to maximize GPU performance and ensure stability when overclocking? Overclocking the RTX 4090 and 4080 GPUs can be tricky, as not all cards are the same. One way to customize your settings is using custom fan curves for better thermal control. You can adjust them based on how much cooling capacity you need and the performance you want from a particular game. It's also important to consider both core and base clock speeds while keeping temperatures below 60 to 90 degrees Celsius. This helps you avoid power limits and get the most out of your gaming experience. You can use software like MSI Afterburner or Eka Precision Zoe to help you adjust your settings. It's also important to stress test your settings to make sure they're programmed correctly and avoid any malicious intent. You can also save money by looking for alternative combinations that offer a similar performance, helping you find deals that you may not have seen before. When looking for a graphics card, it's important to consider your budget and find tricks to make it more affordable. This helps you find a realistic approach that fits in your budget and still offers a satisfactory gaming experience. When it comes to alternative options, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 30 series is a great choice for those not wanting to spend as much on an RTX 4090 or 4080. The RX 6000 series from AMD offers similar performance levels coupled with good ray tracing capabilities, but it can consume more power in comparison. For those looking for a budget gaming GPU, consider one of the GTX 16 series cards like NVIDIA's Super Range. These will easily run many modern titles comfortably during 1080p gameplay without compromising any graphics quality too heavily, depending on the settings chosen. It's important to decide beforehand for a smooth experience when running applications like monitors and virtual reality units. They come with powerful fans and optimized cooling solutions, as well as real-time ray tracing and AI-enhanced graphics for an amazing gaming experience. Although they cost more than other GPUs on the market, they could be worth it depending on your individual system capabilities and budget constraints. There are many questions about the size, power, and visual capabilities of these cards, so it's important to consider all of these factors before you make any purchases. Are you ready to experience the power of the new Apple M2 Pro and M2 Max chips? Don't miss out! Watch our next video now so that you can learn more about the revolutionary technology and performance that these chips are offering.